Hello and welcome. In this video we want to discuss how you can check downloads or files you got via email or download from the internet for viruses and malware. The topic came up because I got a command here for my Thunderbird video where you can synchronize Google Contacts and Calendar with TVSync. TVSync is an add-on for Thunderbird and I got a command here. You can see there's one command uh, but it's is not shown publicly because the user I think has deleted the command but here is it uh, I got it from the notification here and the user wrote me uh, just that you just made this YouTube account this month and want us to install some potentially shady Thunderbird add-ons I don't know dude I don't know you don't have a trustworthy face well I don't know about the trustworthy face that's up to you but the point here is absolutely correct. You shouldn't just download anything from the internet, whether the channel is new or an older channel. You should always double check if you download or install something. And just for the channel, um, the English channel, that's correct. It's new. Uh, as you can see, uh, I only got four subscribers so far. So feel free to subscribe to my channel that I get a few more. But uh, I'm I'm active for some years now here on YouTube with my German channel. As you can see, I have a little bit more subscribers here and also a lot of different videos. So I'm not really new to it, but whether this channel is new or uh, not, uh, you should always double check your downloads. And that's where Virus Total comes in place. Virus Total is um, an online service, I think, from Google where you can check files and downloads for viruses with a lot of virus scanners. You might say, uh, I have a local antivirus software installed, but uh, if there's a new malware around on the internet, your local virus scanner might not just detect it because they need to update the signatures for new malware. And there's a high probability that other vendors of antivirus software already did that. And so you can check your file here with, I think around 70 different scanners. So I download a file here from the internet. It's an exe file and installer. I downloaded it from this homepage here. That's one of our homepages here where you can download the software I wrote. And if you have downloaded the software and you want to be sure that there's no malware in it, just drag and drop it here onto the virus total homepage. And if the file was already checked, in that case, the file was uploaded yeah, two days ago, as you can see, and already was checked. Then uh, the result is here pretty fast uh, because it was already checked. And then you see the results here. And um, you, as you see, uh, there are different virus scanners which detected nothing here. There are a lot of virus scanners you might never heard of, but also some popular ones like Bitdefender, uh, Gdata, Fsecure, Fortinet, Kaspersky, and all that stuff. So the, the file is checked with a lot of virus scanners and you can be more sure that there's no virus or malware in it if all of them say no. Um, and we will have a look to different examples where only a few go red. And in that case, you need to be careful. But this is an easy way to check your downloads of files for viruses. For example, let's check a different file here. That's maybe a file I got via email. And as you can see, I'm the first one uh, who uploads the file. So I need to conf confirm the upload with a different um, file here. This, this was already uploaded, so there's no need to upload it again. So I upload the file and now as you can see, it's analyzed live and you have to wait for the result here. Okay, the scan is done. And as you can see, uh, there were zero detections. No security vendors flagged this file as malicious. So uh, we can be very sure that there's no malicious content in that file. So let's have a look to a different example here. I got an email here some days ago about Nike offering, offering sponsorship and collaboration for my YouTube channel. And all I need to do is to download a catalog here. So it was a zip file. I downloaded the zip file. As you can see, I used Linux for that just to be a little bit more sure. And there was an exe file in 
the zip file. So I uploaded this file also to virus to to check it. And as you can see, seven of six of uh, 62 windows flagged the file as malicious. So that's a point I wanted to make um, some minutes ago. If you have a local virus scanner, it might not just detect new malware that's, uh, that's out for a few hours. So um, only seven of the 62 windows flagged the file as malicious. So it's always a good idea to check with virus total for, uh, for viruses because some windows of antivirus software might just have updated their signatures to detect new malware and so you can be more sure about your downloads. So if several of these uh, virus scanners go red, then you should really not install or execute the file and just delete it. So well, that's basically what I wanted to show in this video. Don't trust anyone on the internet to download and install software. Always double check it. For example, with virus total. And also thanks for the comment. If you are looking at this video here, uh, anonymous commenter, well, you're absolutely right. Not about my face maybe, but uh, about downloading software from the internet, especially from new channels. Well, that's it. Goodbye.